In case you missed our Zoom reading lesson this morning, here is our story of the week. Our words to know for this week, our first week is ready. We are ready to pick apples. Our second word is country. We live in the country. Do you see any tall buildings there? Any roads with lots of cars like we have? No, because we live in the city and this is a picture of the country. Next one. We planted the flowers in the soil. So you can tell what soil is if we go in there. They're planting them in the dirt. And I'm going to go down to this one next. She covers the seeds with the earth. It's still the dirt. So we learned two new words for dirt, soil and earth. Kinds. There are many kinds of butterflies here. I think my favorite is that one. Almost. The apples are almost ripe. It must be fall. That's when apples ripen. Number seven, covers. Pollen covers the bee. The bee standing there on the plant, getting the pollen. And the next one warms. The oven warms our apple pie. All right, so in this story today, we're going to be doing sequence of events. First, last, next. We've done sequence of events before. Here we're learning about life cycles. A seed is planted. A small plant sprouts up. It grows bigger. The bean grows on the plant. Inside the beans are more seeds which can be planted. This is the life cycle of a bean plant. Every living thing has a life cycle. You will read about the life cycle of an apple tree and a tree is a plant. So before we start, you can go get a piece of paper and do this. Think, what do you know about trees changing as they grow? So we can complete the sentence. I know that trees what? I would like to know more about what? So what do you think we're gonna learn in this? You can talk with your family about your ideas. Our author is Clyde Robert Bulla. Clyde Robert Bulla lived in a farm and went to a one room school. I want you to just close your eyes and imagine that for a second. Pretend you're in our classroom, but instead of just first graders in there, there's kindergartners, first graders, some fifth and sixth graders, maybe some junior high kids. I can't even imagine what it would be like to teach like that. But a long time ago, that's how people went to school. He loved to read and write, but he also had to do chores. When he was 10 years old, Clyde entered an essay contest and won a prize. When he grew up, he wrote many books for children. And our illustrator is Stacy Shoot. What's interesting, most of the informational texts that we read have photographs. This one actually has pictures that Stacy drew. It says, as a child, Stacy Shoot loved to ride to school on her horse, Snorky, and be able to observe nature. She put a lot of what she remembers in her drawings and paintings. And this time we're gonna have informational text. It's gonna give us facts. As we read, we're looking for information and facts and words and pictures that show detail about the real world. A tree is a plant. And our essential question, what happens to a tree as it grows? The first two trees we're gonna see, the maple tree must be fall because the leaves are all turning colors. In the back, we see the conifers. The conifers are those trees that have pine cones on them. We usually use them as a Christmas tree. See the horse grazing. Think, is he in the city or the country? What do you think? I think you're right, they're in the country. We see some more trees, a persimmon. I don't know if you knew that palm trees had fruit in them. Palm trees grow dates. The lemon tree, and you can barely see just a little bit of that willow tree in the back. There's the dirt road. A tree is a plant. A tree is the biggest plant that grows. Most kinds of trees grow from seeds the way most small plants do. There are many kinds of trees. Here are a few of them. How many do you know? We talked about those kinds of trees. This tree grows in the country. It might grow in your yard too. Do you know what kind it is? Can you tell? Look up there. Oh, you're right, it's an apple tree. How did you know? The apple tree comes from a seed. The seed was small. It grew inside an apple. Have you ever seen an apple seed? Get up close so you can see them there. Ask an adult to help you cut an apple in two. The seeds are in the center. They look like this. 
Most apple trees come from seeds that are planted. Sometimes an apple tree grows from a seed that falls to the ground. There's the seed on the ground. Wind blows leaves over the seed. The wind blows the soil over the seeds. So first the leaves and then the dirt is covering the seed. All winter the seed lies in the leaves and the soil. All winter the seed lies under the ice and the snow and is pushed into the ground. Do you see the tiny little seed in the snow? There it is under the ground. Spring comes, rain falls. The sun comes out and warms the earth. The seed begins to grow. So just think if you go outside and it's sunny and you touch the concrete, the concrete feels warm. The sun is warming the earth, making it feel warm for the seed. At first, the young plant does not look like a tree. The tree is very small. It is only a stem with two leaves. It has no apples on it. The tree must grow before it has apples. Each year the tree grows. It grows tall. In seven years, it is so tall that you can stand under its branches. Are you seven? Just think, I bet you are. If you were an apple tree, you would be starting to grow blossoms this spring. In the spring, there are blossoms on the tree. Spring is apple blossom time. So it says, after many years, what happens to the little plant? I think there it is as a little plant. We're gonna see it in the next picture. It becomes a beautiful tree. This one's got the apple blossoms on it. There's the girl and the cats. Let's count the cats. One, two, three. Can you see the one hiding behind the tree? There's the fourth cat, a bird in the sky. Oh, I'm sorry, I skipped a page. Here we go. The blossoms last only a few days. Then they fall to the ground. Now there are green leaves on the tree. Can you see that animal that's there? It's the bee. Remember when we did the magic school bus and we learned all about how the bees collect pollen from the flowers and spread them around? Among the leaves are small apples. The apples are where the blossoms were before. There it is. The apples are green and they are almost too small for you to see. The apples grow slowly. They grow all during the spring and the summer. In the fall, they are large and ripe, and they are ready to eat. We can see the apples and the leaves on the branches. We can see the branches growing out of the trunk, and we can see the trunk growing out of the ground. We can see the bark of the tree. The bark covers the branches and the tree like a coat. But there's a part of the tree we cannot see. So I'm thinking, what part of the tree do you think we can't see? We're seeing the top of it. What about the very bottom? What do you think? <gasps> what are these? We cannot see the roots. They are under the ground. Some of the roots are large and some of them are as small as hairs. Feel your hair. That's a pretty small root, huh? <laughs> the roots grow like little branches under the ground. The tree could not live without its roots. Roots hold the tree in the ground. Roots keep the tree from falling when the wind blows. Roots keep the tree from washing away and keep it, uh, roots keep the rain from washing the tree out of the ground. Do you notice what there is in this ground right there? A bone, does that remind you of another story that we read? Remember Go Jones where he was digging in the yard and he found that huge dinosaur bone? Roots do something more. They take water from the ground. They carry the water into the trunk of the tree. So there they're taking the water from the ground into the trunk of the tree. The trunk carries the water to the branches, right there. And the branches carry the water to the leaves. So the water is coming up the tree. Hundreds and hundreds of leaves grow on the branches. The leaves make food from water and air. Can you do that? Can you stand outside and make food just from water and air? Me neither. They make food when the sun shines. The food goes into the branches. It goes into the trunk and roots. It goes to every part of the tree. So it's exactly the opposite of the water. Now it's coming down. We're going from the sun into the leaves, into the branches, into the trunk and down into the roots. 
every part of the tree. Fall comes and winter is near. The work of the leaves is over. The leaves turn yellow and brown. The leaves die and fall to the ground. There's a fox trying to get a little extra snack before winter hits. Now the tree is bare. All winter it looks dead. But the tree is not dead. Under its coat of bark, this tree is alive. Look, can you see the rain? Puddles of rain on the ground. What's the bat rabbit doing there? Why is he hiding? Is he sheltering from the rain? Spring comes again. Rain falls. Look at that beautiful rainbow. There's the bird that has a worm in its mouth. What do you think that bird might be doing with that worm that's in its mouth? Think about our story, are you my mother? Think that bird might be taking that worm back to its baby? Could be, it's spring. The sun warms the earth. The tree blossoms and new leaves grow. As long as it lives, the apple tree grows. As long as it lives, the apple tree blossoms in the spring and apples grow on it. There it is, blossoming in the spring. It's so pretty. When do you like apple trees best? In the spring when they are covered with blossoms? In summer when they are covered with green leaves and there's people who are taking it, having a picnic underneath them? In winter when they are bare? Or in the fall when they are covered with apples? When do you like apples best? So first thing I want you to do is make a sequence of events how does an apple tree grow? First, the seed gets put into the ground. Next, a small plant starts to grow. Then it grows bigger and gets blossoms. The blossoms fall off and make apples, and the apples ripen and grow. The other thing I want you to do is be thinking about what is your favorite season with the apple tree? And I want you to write a sentence. I like the apple tree best. And when do you like the apple tree best? Do you like it best in the fall, in the winter, in the spring? I'm sorry, that was summer. In the summer or in the spring? And I want you to draw your, write your sentence and then draw me a picture of the apple tree in that season. You can be in the picture if you want to or not. All right, great reading with you guys. I will talk to you later. Bye.